And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Caitlyn Teemo. This is a pretty popular deck, pretty popular combination, but we haven't played it since the very first day. Same with the Draven Scion that we're about to play. So we're going to play these two decks again. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's what we're going to be doing here. So we're going to be going with a puff cap version. There's other versions that, that focus more on the flash bomb traps, but I'm going to really be focusing on the poison puff caps. You can see no copies of Sting Officer, no copies of Piltover Peacemaker, a couple of cards that are pretty good, but you know, not amazing, but they are a good way of putting traps into the deck, the flash bomb traps. Here we're just going to be going mostly all puff caps. And I really want to try this new Insider Knowledge. This is a card I didn't play the first time. Uh, yeah, the first time I didn't have Insider Knowledge or the Karina Mastermind. And I think they both could be really good. If we do have the ability to give our opponents lots of puff caps, hopefully, um, then, you know, being able to draw more cards than Insider Knowledge and then using Karina a, most, a lot of time, hopefully, for like the second part to activate all traps in the top five cards. Hopefully those will uh, be able to do a lot. Um... We had aloof travelers last time, changing aloof travelers for veteran investigator just to, to lower the curve. Uh, them discarding their most expensive card is not very valuable considering you're having your opponent draw a lot of cards anyway, so them just having the most expensive card um, is usually just fine. And uh, besides that, everything else is just about the same. So let's go and try it out. Caitlin Timo, let's give them some traps. Here we go. Yeah, the Sting Officer only having the one health, especially with all the Pokey Sticks around and everything like that. No, didn't put Poison Dart in the deck. Poison Dart, as far as I know, is a Bandle City card, right? Not Piltover and Zon? Is it, or is it, is it Piltover and Zon? What are we playing against? Fizz Poppy. So this will go... I guess I'm just going to keep Double Mystic Shot. Hey, Buff. Welcome to the stream. Hmm. Now do I have enough mana? Okay, Poison Dart is Bandle City. This is the card that... This Bandle Commando, you know, without playing... Um... Without playing Sting Officer, we don't have like a great answer to Bandle Commando. We're kind of relying on having Puffcat Peddler though, aren't we? There's no Puffcat Peddler in our hand. No Champion, no Peddler, no Foundry. No. No Starlet Seer even. Well, I could attack for four. I feel like that attack's not that important. I like kind of keeping their board filled so they can't go too wide on me, right? Like they they can only play two more units before replacing. Like if I attack with the four three, they get a, a one one a block with a one one that they love. Hmm. That's not ours. The sea tells me all I need. Fine. What's up, Nasher? Hope you're having a good Sunday. I'm gonna take it. Because I can. Keeps them with a full board if they want to play all this stuff. Like, they have a million cards in hand. They want to play stuff. They got to replace stuff. Yeah, kid. By snow and stars. So getting the Starlets here in play first, so once we start protecting this Teemo... Um, this would be a good winter. We get the plus one, plus ones.
Oh, deal three is going to do it. I can make it three health with the two mushroom clouds, but a deal three. That's a good card to draw. I think they just drew that. That will do it. I'm saving these mushroom clouds for peddler. Like we draw, you know, because we draw a peddler. I mean, I do have the Starlet Seer now, so it, it is more useful playing it now with the Starlet Seer. Mama's home. All right, I'll go ahead and get one out of my hand. Sure. Do I have to? Uh, excuse you. Down to thirteen. I think that's okay. I think you can take three. That's the thing about everything replacing themselves, getting, you know, how they have all the card advantage. Well, might as well make them just draw more cards because they have infinite card advantage anyway. So the, you do have the, you know, the limit of only having 10 cards in hand, and they currently have 10 cards in hand. Frozen Thrall. <laughs> just getting a card out of hand. Okay. So I think I want to go Karina Plant, or let's investigate. Maybe we just investigate. Let's investigate. Just kill me. Rude. All right, I think Karina Plant. Yeah, because there's not that many traps in their deck. I have something very special planned. Yeah, many more pretty frustrating. You best believe I don't play. Blessed by snow and stars. So we got 14 puff caps, five flash bombs. <laughs> well, flash bomb everything down to one health. Alright, so we're both going to draw two. They already have like too many cards, and maybe, maybe we flash bomb kill these things. Killed one. That's pretty cool. We see through all. <laughs> Reporting in. Reporting in. Hang on. <laughs> We're rolling. Think many more should be a fast bell. I'm not sure. I don't really have I don't really have a hard opinion on Mini Morph right now. You dropped something. I dropped everything. They have all the cards they could ever want. Today's the day I find that hero. So the bad part about them drawing the four puff caps is now they only have nine for me to double up. Like that's that's not very many to double up. Yeah, it's really not. But Timo's gonna go scout ahead. Yeah, mini morph pretty good. Go away. Mini morph pretty good. So I guess I'm planting flash bombs again, I guess. 
Because if I if I choose activate, like maybe we hit like three puff caps, does like three damage to their nexus. We kind of need peddler. <laughs> We've gone through sixty percent of the deck. More than sixty percent of the deck. We haven't seen a peddler. My mustache with bark. We kind of need a peddler. Don't those fools know I own this city? <laughs> Two damage. Gosh, that's not very much. It's just killing these things doesn't really matter. So planning, planning the flash bomb traps doesn't matter. That's why we need pupcaps. Thankfully, finally, peddler. Yeah, we're at like 70% of the way through our deck. Finally, we, f we found Peddler. You gotta get going, Peddler. They're at 8 out of 10. Gotta go with the flow. 9 out of 10. And just drew another card that didn't do anything. Have a mushroom. Have three. The coral. For me. They're down to only 10 cards left. So each spell should be 6 puff caps. Let's throw away everything from our hand. We don't need none of it. Throw them all away. Give them all the puff caps. Alright, so every card has 3.8 puff caps. Alright, now more. They all have 4.4 .4 puff caps. And they're drawing two cards, each one with 4.4 .4 puff caps. So it'll be an upset if this doesn't work out. This should work out. There's five. Only two? Come on, really? We only hit seven out of eight? Only two on the last one? They had nine cards and 39 puff caps. And they only hit two. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. I mean, so it's. The game's over. They're, they're the active player. Their bandle tree will happen before my Hexcore Foundry. What? That's a lucky win for my opponent. Very lucky win. All right, Draven Scion. Yeah, I guess I could have saved the second Karina. I guess I could have. It also underperformed only hitting two. It definitely could have hit three. Well, I guess that's a hand. Figured that I was gonna need interaction here, so I wanted to keep the Starlet here, the Caitlyn, and look for other interaction type stuff. Wow, they had the poor Opian in. Alright, GG's. Things have not been going our way here. Sometimes they go your way, like they did with Draven Ezreal, we went 5 0, and sometimes they don't. We see through all. Gonna be playing Caitlyn up next. Get the two flash bomb traps in. They could, they could have get excited to kill Caitlyn. Unlikely they have get excited right about now. Not by a long shot. The 
All right, flash bombs. To them. You can do both. Blessed by snow and stars. I'm not going to cast this mystic shot this round. I want to have the peddler in play first. Gave them another couple bombs. Plus, you never know, these flash bombs may just clean stuff up. So they did have the second get excited after discarding the first. That's all right. You did pretty good, Caitlyn. Discard a spinning axe. Have a mushroom. Have three. I guess this is a bad idea because then they just make a new four-three challenger. This is yeah. I guess this, this actually really is a bad idea. I so the reason why I was playing that is because I wanted to give them like three more puff caps before we drew a card. But that was that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just drawn the card and kept the Mystic Shots, and they challenged a Mystic Shot during combat. All right, another peddler. AJ, buddy, thank you so much. Yeah, Broken Arrow asked, do we need three Investigator, Hexcore, Insider Knowledge? Well, I I do only have two. Um, I guess we'll play this. Two, three, I do only have two Hexcores, but with that being said, I don't know if, you know, if every single one's necessary. Yeah, I messed up with this lost soul. The good good news is they didn't challenge Peddler, the card that matters the most. That's the good news. They didn't kill the Peddler. They don't really have any traps right now. Which I guess that should have been why... Okay, so I shouldn't have blocked with my 2-1... Starlet's here, right? Because, yeah, because then they have these two... They have three flash bombs, and I should have kept... Yeah, I should not have blocked there, but... So they want to draw two cards right now before they get more puff camps. Doing that to get rid of cards from hand. Kind of hoping that they would play Scion right there. And I'll just be able to frostbite it. Take up seven mana. All right, let's give him some pop caps. Give him more, give him more. Yes, jump up's good. By snow and stars. Jump up good. Sure. They don't... They don't really realize that the card that matters the most is the pop cap peddler. Doesn't seem like... They killed all my Starless Ears. So I guess that's a good good reason to have Starless Ear in the deck is because sometimes people will kill those over your peddlers. Oh, that's a harvest right there. 
Give him some puff caps. Give him some more puff caps. Yeah, there they go. They just go and concede there. Yeah, it's just gonna be all those puff caps. All right, cool. Good win. One and zero. Oh, super close to two and zero, oh, but one and oh, one and one. Oh yeah, sorry. And uh, the mobile gamer asking is the Draven Ezreal deck in the Mobilitics page, and yes, it is. I'm sorry about that. Yes, it, it's on the mobile Mobilitics page. If you uh, didn't see that already, Timo, Poppy, Tristana. Let's keep a Troll Champ, but we're going to need units. Cool. Troll Champ's, like, always pretty useful. Let's investigate. Alright, lead with Caitlyn. Who's basically our Draven. Round three, quick attack. Let's investigate. Let's investigate. Prepared for anything. Mm. All right. I would love to spend one man on the thermogenic beam, but that's not allowed. Wow. That's pretty unlucky. Not gonna lie, that's pretty unlucky. All right, kind of want to block with Caitlyn. Give him two more flash bomb traps. Nah. Yep. I forgot our loots. We'll have to improvise. Create a hungry owl cat in hand. I mean, if you really want a hungry owl cat, I mean, I suppose you can create one in hand right there. I mean, should I have thermogenic beamed for four? I don't feel like I should have. Have you seen the zillion action version of Curious Shell Folk? I have not. I do think Curious Shell Folk is really good and really underrated. We played it with Zoe Aphelios one time before, and it was awesome. But I have not seen a um, zillion action version of that. Hey, Caleb. Yeah, switch over to, to Runeterra. What we got going on here? Double group shot? Okay. Sorry, Caitlyn. So so Again, though, my best card in my deck. Puffcat Peddler, still alive, so that's good. This is a lot of attacking coming in, however. We're going to play some defense. Wow, that gets through Spell Shield. It's not a spell, technically. That card is awesome. Yordles in arm. Yordle. Oh, why didn't I play the other Teemo? Yordles in arms. That card's awesome. I was just... Yeah, I should have played the Teemo. To do some blocking. I was thinking that I was going to be doing, you know, like this with the two spells for the Peddler before the Peddler dies. But I probably should have just played Teemo and then Flash Freeze. Then I guess if I would have done those two things, I would not have had to kill... Oh, that thing I did back too. I would not have had to kill my Peddler. But it looks like they got this. This is the the thing that uh, Puffcap decks are very weak to, are aggro decks. And they are a very aggressive deck. And they had a very good hand and went really wide. And hit hard, and so they win. All right, we got Zoe Nami. I think we need to keep both Caitlyn's, because the champion spell is really nice too. Or if they are able to deal with this Caitlyn, we'll have a, a backup.
could also hear the argument of not playing the Starlet's here right there, so I'd have two mana for a troll chant, but I think I like getting it in play. Because, you know, like, we, we always want to get all these units in play before we start playing spells. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. Pale Cascade. Yep. That's why I have the backup, Caitlyn. And it's very possible that this top card is the Flash Bomb. No. I was hoping. By a long shot. Absolutely, Zach. Go ahead. Flash bombs. No. So I want to open attack, but I also want Peddler in play before playing spells. And we can't really do both. I think it's probably more important to have the Peddler in play first. A 2-4? For a 1 mana card? Dang. That's pretty nice. This would have been a lot better if they would have just drawn that flash bomb immediately. Man, they can't draw a single flash bomb. This was why not to play the Starlet Seer first, though, right? Because like, if they don't, if I don't play the Starlet Seer first, I would have the Troll Chant to protect the Caitlyn, and then I have the Caitlyn Champion spell to go along with the Mystic Shot. We killed the Nami. This game's probably a whole lot different. So it looks like playing that Starlet Seer round two. Is what's gonna cost me this game. Very good hand opponent. Very good hand. Very good hand. Yeah, we have not had very good luck with this with our Caitlyn Teemo deck today. They grow up so fast. Should have kept both troll chants available, I suppose. This spell kills over here, then the next spell would buff up the two one. So if y'all didn't notice that, they did finally draw one flash bomb, and the one flash bomb made this gift giver take one damage so that it got buffed up by the Nami instead of this other 2-1. So they finally drew the one flash bomb, but the one flash bomb went in such a way, the only way that it could, that uh, killed my Caitlyn. Yeah, we are not having the luck today. Alright, one and three.
And we got darkness control for our last one. This is all going to be about uh, the darkness. You know, like, the only way we lose this, basically, is if darkness... Um, actually, I need, so I need to keep Mystic Shot, actually. Get rid of you. Stop. Is that they're able to use Vagar and have darkness hit my Nexus. I think that's how they outrace us. Uh, I guess another way that we lose this is if we never find Peddler. Peddler is going to be the most important card. Keeping Mystic Shot because of the three mana, sorry, the two mana three two that increases the damage that darkness deals whenever it strikes. I'm not as worried about Dark Bulb Acolyte, but then again, I also have a whole lot of cards in hand that I don't like. Yes, yeah, so I have two dogs. Harvey, Harvey's usually down here. I'm usually petting Harvey with my left hand. She's the bigger dog. That card. That is the card I wanted to Mystic Shot. Wasn't really a better option. All right, just gonna wait. <clears throat> since I, since I saved the three mana, or since I saved the two mana, I didn't play this thermogenic beam. Now I can go mushroom cloud, level up Teemo, and still have troll chant to protect Teemo. Because I didn't spend that uh, mana on the thermogenic beam. So that was my plan. Alright, doubled that 12 to 24. Good draw. I guess I am really taking a lot of damage if I only just block this 3 1. Twenty-eight cards, twenty-eight puff caps. Puff cap peddler. No puff cap peddler. All right, so I could play the Starlet here before the Insider Knowledge, but if I do that, then I only have two mana left. I like having the four mana left because I think. My opponent hasn't played a champion yet, and I think both champions are very likely to be played. And if they do play a champion like that, then I'm going to want Thermo, so I can Thermogenic Beam this. Um, but I do kind of want to play the Caitlyn now. So Caitlyn will be a 4-4, and how many, tracks, how many traps have been activated this round? I think just 
two. I think the answer is kill Vagar. The longer the game goes, the better for me. That didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. That was the opposite of working out. This, this didn't wake. Yeah, this didn't work out one bit. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? Okay, so Peddler eats the darkness. Closing in on the mob. No backup needed. But also give you know gave them three puff caps as well. Well, what have we here? Get them, Timo. Double up them puff caps. They've done a great job of not drawing puff caps. You know, before it was even up with cards left and puff caps. You can see we've we've added on three puff caps, but they've they've drawn three cards that all had zero puff caps. Look at this puny creature. One step ahead. Should always do that during combat. I could have played, like, theoretically I could have another Teemo in hand. See, there's the Puff Caps. Finally. But unfortunately, I don't think we are going to be striking with this Peddler. So this is going to do 5 damage. Wait, so that just kills me. Yeah, that just kills me. This thing is going to do 4. It does 5. That's unfortunate. All right, well, only one in four with Caitlyn Timo. Headquarters will hear of this. So I said the only way we could lose was if Darkness killed my Nexus, and if I didn't have Puffcat Peddler. We never had Puffcat Peddler. They ended up having a, a very aggressive start, and then had Darkness finish off the Nexus. That was the only way we could lose that game. It's too bad. So I don't know. I our deck didn't feel that bad you know like our, our games are really close they just didn't go our way and that's just just happened sometimes um you know that that's just how life is uh those y'all watching later on youtube if you if you play a lot of caitlin at teemo like this if you got any suggestions for the deck list of like i uh, you know recommending you play whatever card you know x card instead of y card let me know if you have any cards you think we should you know take out and put in a different card I'd be interested to hear about it, but um, I like the I like the deck list for the most part. It just um, yeah didn't have the best of luck and didn't have the most puff cap peddlers. That's always the most important card. All right, but that's gonna be it here though for Caitlin Timo. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.